ಅದು ದವಸೆ ತೆರವನ್ ಸಾರ ನಾಯಿ ಪಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೇರಿದೆ ನಾಟನ ಅರಿಯು ನಿಸ್ಸರಣೆ ಮಗ ಸದಹಂ ಸಾ ಕಚ್ಚಾ ಮಾಲಾಗೆ ಬದದ ದವಸರ ನಿಯಮಿತ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಮಾಧ್ಯ ತುಲಿ ಪ್ರವರ್ತನ ಸದಹಂ ಸಾ ಕಚ್ಚಾ ಸಮುಗಾಯಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಸಹ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿಳಾಸ ಚಿಹ್ನೆ ಹೇಮನ ದಹಂ ಸಾ ಕಚ್ಚಾ ಆರಂಭ ಕರಂಟ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಪಿ ಸಹಮ ಸೀರ ದಿನ ಮೇಕಟೇಕ ರಾಶಿ ವಿಲ ಆರ್ಯ ಮೈತ್ರಿ ಕರ್ಮಸ್ಥಾನ ಅಪಿ ಸಜ್ಜಾಯನೆ ಕರಮು ಈ ಸಜ್ಜಾಯನೆ ಅಂತುಲಿ ಸೀರು ಲೋಕ ಸೀರು ಸತ್ಯ ಅಂಟ ಮೆಚ್ಚಿತ ಪತರೋನು ಅನಂತ ಸಂಸಾರ ಪುರಾವಟನು ಅಪಿ ಅಭಿಮಿ ಅನಂತ ಭವಗಮನಿಧಿ ರಾಗ ದೇಶ ಮೋಹು ಗಡ ಕುಲಿ ವಿಲ ಹರಹ ಈ ಲೋಕೇಟ ಎಂತ ಅವೆಡ ಅಸಾಧಾರಣ ಕಂಸಿದ್ದು ನಾನ ಏಸಿ ಅಲ್ಲಟ ವಂದಿಗೆ ಒಡನೆ ದಾಸ್ ಮಿಂಟಿ ಕಿರಹಿತ ಆಗನ ಉತ್ತುಂಗು ಮೆಚ್ಚಿ ತಿಯುತು ಆರ್ಯ ಮೈತ್ರಿಯ ಪತ್ರು ಹರಿಮ್ ಸೇಲು ದಿನ ರಾಶಿ ವಿಲ ಹೇಮನ ಸೇಲು ದಿನ ಸೂದಾನ ವೆನ್ನ ಆರ್ಯ ಮೈತ್ರಿ ಭಾವನಾ ವಡನ್ನ ತಮಂಗಿನ ಸ್ಥಾನೇ ಸುದುಸು ಆಕಾರಿ ಭಾವನಾ ಒಡ ಸುದುಸು ಪಾರಿ ಸಾಕಸ್ ಕರಗನ ಸೂದಾನ ವೆನ್ನ ಸಾತು 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 ಮಮದ ಸಿಯಲು ಲೋಕ ಸಿಯಲು ಸತ್ವಯೋ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸತ್ವಯೋದ 
மானர் பரம சுகையின் சுகித்த தார நிம்பான பரம சுகையின் சுகித்த தார மமது சியலுலோக சியலு சத்வயோ ராக சுகித்த தர வெற்றி 
सुखित तर इंग्लिश भाषा दहम साखा विवरण सिद्धवेनवा इंग्लिश बाध्य उत्तम कर्तव्य सिद्ध कर ओके नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुद्ध समता चक्रवासु अत्र गच्छन्तु देवता सद्धर्म मुनिराज सुन सग मुगद धम्मन कालो अयम भदंता धम्मन कालो कालो अयम भदंता सर नाइक देर आर सम फ्रेंड्स and uh, some people who have joined uh, along with me in india so i would like to welcome them and also take this opportunity to explain what i was doing right now so that uh, it becomes easy for them to understand and also i would like to give uh, some uh, explanation on namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa so that their they are aware of what what this means otherwise uh, some people might take it as a religious rather than being spiritual so i would like to take that opportunity so the first uh, thing what i did was uh, to um, uh, prostrate or to submit my gratitude uh, to buddha of saying that namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa that is i uh, uh, convey my regards or gratitude to the samma sambuddha the buddha meaning that uh, person who found out uh, how to unbecome the becoming that is uh, how to remove the becoming uh, bhaveya uddha that is buddha bhava is becoming Uddha is to remove that. So one who has shown us the path in removing 
our desire and aversion and delusion to become something and we have no idea what it would lead us to it might take us to a, a wrong path uh, filled with uh, either aversion that is uh, hatredness or take us to a desire wherein we have uh, greed as one of the aspect or take us to a deluded mentality where we might be blinded by the ignorance so one who has shown that path uh, we need to be sincerely very much filled with gratitude and the second one what i was uh, trying to do was to call all the uh, beings be it uh, the sentient all the sentient beings whom we can't see and in our long process of samsara uh, they might have become our mothers and fathers and brothers sisters friends associate or anybody whom we have met them in the past in this life and who have departed or there are people whom we are not able to see but are available at this point in time they don't have any body and there can be devas or brahmas who can or who have the ability to listen to the teachings of the buddha so i was uh, trying to call all of the beings to take a uh, take uh, uh, or to participate in this in this uh, desana or the discussion what we are going to be having uh so when i said samanta chakravalesu atra gachanto devata that is uh, whenever uh, samanta that the person who has established himself calls and then the devas will go and hear to him so he is a muni raja because muni is a person who has bent all the kleshas or the all the or the or the fermentation is been removed from the water and it is very clear so i am trying to call all the beings to hear through uh, the the teachings get benefited and then see how they can uh, use it in their lives either with body or without body right now and may all beings find happiness the true happiness is nibbana which is nothing but not having any aversion to anything not having any greed to anything and also not having any delusion of anything and that gives a perfect equanimity of mind and with an equanimous mind we should be able to think in a in a much better way than what we are accustomed to believe at this point in time so with that uh, i would like to start my uh, experiences so uh, today uh, i thought about sharing the experiences what i have been having for last few months and uh, this whole week the last week uh, have been a very nice interesting journey so when i was uh, uh, doing that i wanted to find from the from swamin mahanse whether it will be good idea to uh, to express with people and then he said why don't you bring this up uh, during uh, the the desana on every wednesday so today i have one of my friend who is sitting here so uh, may he also attain the supreme bliss of nibbana while he here on what i uh, what i have done to find peace so to begin with let us understand what the bodies are and how we can identify the body what we have so this body is made out of five elements and uh, basically we can't see the space element so let us leave it with the four elements or the four dhatu so we have a pathavi dhatu which is uh, shows the solidity so when we say solidity it comes in six categories or forms we can find it rough we can find it uh, smooth we can find it heavy 
we can find it light we can find it soft and we can find it hard so these are the six different dimensions to which this this patavi or the earth element can be found now this body uh, the kaya consists of these the patavi dhatu with six different dimensions so what really happens here is that as i uh, compare that with the mind mind also has the has the patavi dhatu or the earth element so sometimes i would feel very light feeling okay if if i am ha having hearing a very good news so my whole body and my mind becomes lighter if i hear a bad news which i did not like then i might have a heavy feeling that feeling feels like somebody has put a 100 kg on my shoulder so that is a feeling what i am getting then there is this smoothness so if we if we look at our lips if we just uh, put the tongue to the lips or if we if we put a tongue to the uh, to the gums we can see that is we have a smooth surface whereas if we look at our bones if we look at uh, the teeth we have very hard surface so like that we can see within our body and the same thing happens in our mind so we find things very smooth even though they are rough because i know how to deal with it it finds i find that dealing with that situation is very smooth if i don't know something and i am struggling with that i find it very rough okay then i have soft and hard so i find my body i am able to turn this way that way i can sit the way i want so it is uh, and then i am i am able to see the softness of the skin or uh, softness of a particular part of the body same thing happens in my mind uh, it 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 i feel sometimes very soft that is i am filled with compassion then my mind is soft if my mind is filled with aversion or if my mind is filled with anger i am filled with very hard so i have a feeling of hardness that is if somebody would like to explain to me what i should not be doing i don't agree with that person because i have a very hard feeling so somebody has insulted me and i would like to take that insult and see how i can uh, repay that person in return so at that point i have a hard feeling same thing if we look at our uh, air element there is we find that it is pushing or it is stretching so the breathing if we see there is a push and there is a pull so entire body has the air element similarly the mind also has the push and pull sometimes we push things and sometimes we pull from our mind so that drains the mind of energy because we are pulling or we are pushing similarly there is apo that is water element and then if we really see it is uh, bonding that is uh, the water has a ability to bind and also has a flowing so we can find in our body and as well as in mind that sometimes we bond with people or with the mentality whom we find are are of same category and also we flow easily and then we have a heat element which is uh, uh, is tejo so if we see that we have a cold tendency or we have a hot tendency the body has a temperature so it is hot or cold same thing the mind also is hot or cold so when we don't like something we we give a very cold shoulder so it is called as cold shoulder that is i don't care so when we are very much concerned when we are agitated it becomes hot so mind becomes mind turns hot so that means whatever we are thinking comes into these four different kind of elements so 
the thinking or the chitta has these elemental properties so if one could observe very uh, very carefully can find out that when a person becomes angry he becomes hot when the person becomes very uh, childlike or he is able to smile laugh he becomes very cold his his body uh, does not emit too much of radiation uh, because his mind is very light so a combination of these four element is what happens within us so when i say i am so and so it means these actually four elements which are into operation and overall we are engulfed into space so that's the fifth element which cannot be seen so the akasha dhatu can not be seen but can be felt so we know wherever these four elements are not there the it is engulfed or encapsulated within the fifth element that is the akasha dhatu or the or the space so if we were to enter into samadhi or meditation we can start looking at our breath and we can see that what element at present is running in our in our thought stream so when we want to do something it can have a a positive impact or a negative impact so when we say positive impact it will have a lightness when we have a negative impact we have heaviness without feeling heaviness you can never have a negative impact of whatever is being said so when somebody blames someone immediately our mind shrinks so when it shrinks it becomes a uh, heavy whereas when somebody appreciates us for whatever we have done then we 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 inflate that is we increase so it's uh, in sanskrit if i were to use it is called as anima and garima so that means either we expand or we contract so when we contract we find ourselves very heavy when we expand we find ourselves very light when we have a lighter feeling we can do many things when we have a harder feeling we cannot do many things so the object of the meditation is to see at this point in time what is coming in whether it is uh, these six of a uh, patavi or the two of uh, of uh, apo tejo vayo so that is a, a good way to measure and see uh, what exactly is happening in our mind so when we say we have a mind it consists of chitta and the chitta consists of thoughts so at any point in time every thought creates a certain kind of feeling and that feeling is the one which uh, whether we are attached to or we are repelled or we hate so when we look at our body there is this physical body this called as karajakaya which means that it is made out of matter basically from food if we eat so this body keeps on developing when we say developing there is uh, arising there is going to be staying for some time and it departs and the next moment another set of changes happen and the new set of body comes into existence so scientifically speaking also they have found out that the entire gut system gets changed in 21 days the tongue gets changed in 6 months and in a day millions of cells die and uh, some millions of cells are reborn so when we look at that process it means to say that nobody can confirm or say that the that person is the same because his body is changing so one of the meditation subject what we can do here to understand about body is to look at what was the person when he was one day into the womb okay we can imagine what would happen when he was one day so if somebody uh, where to do a, a research or can go to youtube and see a three month child or a two month or one month child in the womb you'll be surprised to know that there is the body so small so from that small body how can we become this big and we are able to do many things so what we will get to understand here is that initially there was no existence 
we have a limited existence and again we go back so that will help in purifying the mind in saying that we are here for a momentary purpose only and we are not we cannot say we are going to exist here for for a for a permanent time or we can be for eternity so in our mind we always have this feeling that we exist that is i exist so either i will do something to exist or i have to safeguard myself to exist so that being the case we forget that this karajakaya or the body which is been given from food we eat is controlled by other three uh, bodies the one of that is utu jakaya that is utu is uh, nothing but uh, in sanskrit it is rutu which means it is the it is the nature or we can say it is the season or it is the environment the better word english word for utu can be environment so we have two kind of environment we have an external environment which is dictated by the nature that is we can have a summer season we can have a winter season we can have a rainy season uh, and uh, and then uh, we can have an autumn uh, season so we can have different season and in each season we can look at what kind of crops grow and what kind of uh, uh, the conditions are fe- are are favorable what conditions are not favorable and also we can uh, see that uh, what happens when a particular condition or the season changes what happens to our body so when the summer is uh, when we have peak summer season the body automatically sweats without uh, asking us any permission that should i sweat why we are sweating is because that the the outside environment is hot the inside environment is getting heated up so the karajakaya that is the body which is generated of food is getting heated up so then what happens because of the heating element being highest point it becomes steam so once it becomes steam the body starts to sweat and the body sweats because to make it cool otherwise it gets totally heated up so if we observe this utujakaya keeps on changing irrespective of whether the person likes it or dislikes it that is the nature or the environment within the within the body keeps on moving even during uh, uh, without the outside external uh, influence whatever is happening within the mind that is if the mind is agitated if the mind is uh, jealous if the mind is happy if the mind is sad depending upon that the utu again changes so that is again shown on the body so the there is a, there is a palpitation of the heart or the person might feel anxious or the person might start sweating or the person might find giddiness to an extent of falling down or the person can get fits or can get various kind of ailments in the body like body aches pains uh, leg pain uh, head pain or uh, or you know hand uh, um, or he can have trembling in the in the body so so many things can happen that is again a condition caused by internal uh, changes in the mind so either due to mind or due to condition outside or a uh, combination of both the utu can change so we have karajakaya then we have utujakaya which is nothing but the the environment then we have chitta jakaya it is nothing but the thoughts the stream of thoughts dictate how and what we are going to become the next moment so that stream of thoughts comes into existence depending upon one's gati which is nothing but the habit habit pattern what the what the person has uh, done for himself or herself so from uh, childhood till now we would have done lot of habits we have um, we are exposed to many things from outside and that we believe is a truth and then we have formed that as a habit and every habit has a condition so we try whatever conditions or whatever habit we have made for ourselves we would like to keep that habit 
and because of our liking of our habit we we don't realize that we are causing an injury to ourselves especially if we are cultivating bad habits it can be any of the dasa akusala kamma or the or the unwholesome deeds the 10 unwholesome deeds what we could uh, actually make of ourselves because we are used to uh harboring them or making them as a habit so the chitta jakaya that is the thoughts run based upon what the person's habit pattern is so majorly if the if the person's habit is to let us say uh he has uh, an ability to tell lies he has made a habit of telling lies he will be he will not be able to stop it immediately even if he wants to do it for which he then he has to take a uh what is that he has to take a precepts of not telling lies and that might reduce a bit but then since his habit is strong he will be making all his efforts if not observed or if not uh, if he is not aware he will start telling lies it can be lie because uh, uh, it 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 might not really affect anyone it is just a whatever he has said it's it's it can be ignored but because he has an ability to think in that way the the habit the chitta or the thought process will consist of those things which are not truth which are lie something similar to that is that he might have a a desire to ensure that his friend his closest friend should not be with an enemy what he thinks as an enemy so he would like his friend not to make friend with him so he might tell uh, something about that person to bring an enmity between both of them so that he can benefit like that the the thoughts keep on generating because of the habit what has been what has been created so these 10 dasa or the dasa akusala or the 10 unwhole, 10 unwholesome deeds start to manifest because of our habit it can be in habit made in this life or it might be habit which has been made in the previous lives but but eventually those are the habits which we which we are interested in doing and we continue doing it unless we put a stop by force so some of the habits what i did is to look at those habits and see how they can be stopped so by observing the breathing and by by observing what i am saying many of these uh, thoughts i was able to reduce or to eliminate because i started changing the gati or the or the or the habit pattern so with the with the change in the habit pattern i am i am i was able to look at what is coming into the chitta so this is this is the chitta jakaya then there is kamma jakaya that is out of the karma what we do or the deeds what we have done in the past and the deeds what are being presently done so we keep on doing deeds which are the nearest because the seeds germinate and then they become trees and then the, again the the flowering season starts and with the flowering the flower fading away then uh, you have those flowers falling down with the seeds and again those set of uh, karma or the or the bija is there and then again another set of trees will start form so this happens all the time so if we were to cultivate good habits and the chittas are good so the karma will be good so that is how it you, we can change the the karma or the or the deeds whatever we have done in the past we can replace it with the with with the deeds which we want to do but since we cannot do it directly we have to do it using the gati and the chitta so that means if we change our habit pattern the the corresponding thoughts will change so when our corresponding thoughts changes then we are able to uh, replace the karma so it becomes inoperable that means those those uh, deeds which we have done even though they exist they don't get an energy or the potency to appear till the time we give an opportunity for them to appear 
so these unexpected appearances are called as asavas or these are called fermentation so due to our strong kamma which can come out even though like like the weeds can come into the into the plantation which we have grown which we have taken care but still we cannot promise that the weeds will not come similarly due to a strong, a strong kamma vipaka that is the fruits of uh, that kamma it might happen that the, even the bad kamma might, might start growing so one of the key aspect here when that happens is to look at whether we are again harboring a bad gati which is nothing but an habit which has uh, happened and then uh, because of that i am again i have again started creating a, a bad thought process which is now creating this kama so uh, as an as an example if i were to give is that uh, uh, a, a two week back or rather a week back i was outside my place into an himalayan region where my friend also had come so he was having a a drink so he had uh, brought a whiskey and he was enjoying his drink along with uh, one of my other friend but when i was looking at the uh, the bottle of whiskey and the glass neither i was interested in the whiskey nor i was feeling any hatredness towards the whiskey so if i if i were to look at the thought pattern at that point in time they did not have anything to do with greed or they did not have anything to do with aversion so what it generally means is that the the gati or the or the habit would have been if i am if i am interested in drinking i would have asked for the drink because now the mind would like to enjoy the drink because that that uh, that uh, habit pattern is there so the corresponding chitta or the thoughts will start to manifest so since it uh, since it manifest in that way i would be interested in drinking however if i am not a person who drinks and i hate people who drink in front of me then what would have happened is that i would have cursed that person saying that how can he drink in front of me and then i would have created an aversion so this hit this liking or hatredness is not in the bottle nor is there in my friend it is there with me so depending upon the habit pattern what i have generated i am going to create the sankhara or the or the action which will cause me to create hatredness or greed so if i love drinking then i would like to enjoy with him if i hate drinking i would i don't like to associate with him and both are wrong because the situation he is that actually i have created uh, thoughts of hatredness by rejecting by ensuring that i don't spend time with him and by taking the drink i have ensured that i take the aspect of greed or the desire or or i can say rag kama rag that is i want to enjoy the sensual pleasure of drinking so by remaining equanimous what it would mean is that there is uh, the mind doesn't have any of those thoughts so it it just becomes an action it 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 really doesn't uh, make anything at all out of it so it just becomes kriya or just a kriya that is there is no attachment to it there is uh, either on the on the liking side or on the hatred side so both are are not being there so if uh, if we are able to do this with everything we do in our life right from uh, just like when we wake up we go for uh, to brush our teeth while brushing we don't really bother whether it is are we hating the brushing or are we liking the brushing because we know that the the germs are there and we have to if we don't remove the germs the gums will start bleeding and the, the teeth might not be there so because of that and also it smells bad so to ensure that we don't get a bad smell 
we brush the teeth but while brushing the teeth we are killing so many microorganisms which are harboring in our mouth so actually we are killing so many beings but we since we don't have any bad uh, uh, attitude towards them or bad feeling towards them in our in our habit uh, and then there are no chittas which comes to us saying that uh, we should be killing all of these beings so there is no kama vipaka because there is nothing uh, which is being done so it is a natural process of their dying and they again reborn wherever they are supposed to be reborn but then we are not killing them so in this process we are just doing what we are supposed to be doing at that point in time just like we do a, we take a bath again we so many germs or the microorganisms will die because of our action of uh, taking bath when we apply soap so many of them beings will die but again we are not killing them as such because we don't have any thoughts of killing so if we were to do like this with with everything we do that is right from going to the office doing our work wherein we are just doing because we are supposed to be doing and when we come home we are interacting with our uh, children or we are interacting with the wife or husband and we are spending good amount of time without expectation because we are supposed to be doing that and we are spending time with our parents or friends or relatives without any hatredness or without any liking then what we are doing is we are just being there doing whatever possible so that it doesn't become either turned into a greed or a or a desire and it doesn't turn into aversion so this is something what we can observe so this so this uh, four kaya that is the karaja kaya which is nothing but the body with which the solid body what we find has not solidity but it includes all the four dhatus and that has come because of the food what we are eating so that is karaja kaya then we have the utuja kaya which is the environment internal environment body uh, within the body the the environment what what is there with and matching with the external environment so whenever it doesn't match with external environment we find ourselves with one or the other kind of diseases for which we don't have any control and the third one is the chitta jakaya the thought patterns what we get and the thought patterns happens because of our liking and disliking which is part of our habit pattern and the fourth one is the kama jakaya which is nothing but the body form due to the the kama or the deeds what we have done in the past and what we are doing at present so the future lives whatever we are doing what are we going to have next moment is based upon the kama what we are doing right now so at present my kamma is the desana what i am doing so can be called as a, a kusala kamma because it can help many beings in in their in their path of liberation so that can be called as a, a good deed because that is helping people so if i am doing something which is going to harm others and that becomes a bad deed so the way to experiment on the good deed and bad deed is if if something what we do is good to us and good to others is a is a good deed and something what we do is bad to us and bad to others is a bad deed so in that way we can change our habit pattern if we have an idea to harm others then we can change that habit to good so that we can uh, in a in a way over a period of time remove the bad habits so that the bad karma remains as it is but they doesn't get into any way to manifest within the body or within the mind so first it manifest in the mind and it shows up on the body so all our deeds whatever we have done in the past and and what we are doing right now manifest in the body so this is which is, this is an important thing we can see within us why a disease happens because of the deeds what we have done 
Now, apart from these four kaya, there is another thing what we can really see for ourselves. So that is, we have a rupa. Rupa is nothing but the form. The English word, the nearest English word for rupa is the form. So we have two kinds of form. Form what we see outside and form what we see inside. So if we were to close your eyes right now and you can start seeing a images passing by. So these are from the chitta. So they actually these are the form what is created by the mind. And these are the forms what we are interested in. So what actually is happening is because of our experience of the past and what we are interested to do based upon the habit, we have an attachment or we get an attachment to, to be interested in those forms. What exactly we are trying to do is to match those forms into the outside world. So we will start hunting up about people who are people or objects or whatever in, a, in, the, in the matter. We find the form and we would like to match them. As, as soon as it is matched, we feel very happy. If it is not matching, then we feel very sad that uh, it is not matching. So when we have this aversion, then we would like to hunt and get it at, at, at any cost. And that is when we start doing again the bad deeds or the dasa akusala kamma or the ten unmeritorious deeds because at this time I would like to have that kind of rupa generated. So there are six rupas what we generate all the time. There is this rupa rupa which is nothing but the form which can be noticeable by the eye. Then there is Sota Rupa, so uh, like that, the, the, the smelling, the tasting, the touching, the feeling, the, and then the, the thinking and hearing, all of this uh, will create a Rupa. So if we observe the Rupa, all of them, all of these Rupa are Anicca, that is, they are not as per one desires. So let us say I desire this to uh, this to be seen in this way. Let us say I I would like to have a form which looks very pretty. That 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 prettiness is in my mind. But when I when I see outside, I might not be able to see it in that way at all. In that situation. In that situation, uh, what would happen? Uh, one second. So, in that situation, what would happen is that we would like to get that at any cost. So then what happens is this rupa, this rupa changes. So when the when the when the rupa changes outside one, one second. Okay, so there is a friend from India who is joined and I'm just asking him to uh, mute the phone. Okay, all right. So, so now coming back. So these six rupa, what we, what we create are always likable. So when we have uh, a likable tendency, we try, we try to search it outside. So when we don't find it outside, we would like to create the way it want to create. So that is where this anicca comes into existence because the nicha feeling is that come what may we can we can get it, but in but in reality we cannot because it can happen, it might not happen at all. So that being the case, one thing what we can find out is these rupas, what are appearing will disappear immediately. They don't stay for a long time. So let us say a, uh, I would like to buy iPhone as an example. 
and I have decided to buy a particular model. But by the time I try to uh, organize for funds, that that model is gone and re replaced with an, another model which has come into the market. So that means if that if happiness was there in that model, it wouldn't have changed in in any given way. Since uh, since the happiness is not in that phone, in that rupa, it changes. So, but I have a particular uh, budget to buy that phone, and then when it changes, uh, and and I'm not able to buy that phone, I feel unhappy. In fact, the the phone which I was liking is no longer uh, interesting. So what I do is I start hating it. And I will, I will then feel that the the iPhone is not good at all. Let us say, and then I, I inform my friends, don't ever buy the iPhone because they 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 keep on changing the versions or they keep on changing the model. So why this happened is that the rupa what I generated in my mind and the rupa what appeared outside are two different things, and because of that I generated hatredness. So the nicha feeling was that I should be able to get whatever I want. The anicha feeling actually is that nothing goes as planned and then things will change because of various reasons. So in that way, we can uh, we can see this happening with every everything we see, we hear, we touch, we taste, we smell and we think. So nothing goes as what one desires. So the six rupas. Okay, now that is about Rupa. So then let us come to uh, an understanding about what next happens. So when we see a Rupa, when we see this uh, form, there is a tendency to perceive. So based upon the Rupa, uh, there, is an, there is an opinion called as I. That I is the perceiver. So then there is an identity which comes up as I. So when I perceive, when I say I am, it means that I am perceiving. So now I am perceiving people who have joined into this meeting. So why, how did I come to know? I saw it and I am hearing also. So both being there, I am able to perceive. So based upon that, there is a feeling. So there is a good feeling or there is a bad feeling. So perception leads to Vedana, that is Sanya leads to Vedana. So there is this Nitya Sanya, that is a feeling that everything, uh, sorry, a, a perception that everything will go as per plan. But there is this Viparinama, that is unexpected changes, which means that things need not go as per plan, but can change at, at, at any point in time. So that being the case, the Vedana can be a Sukha Vedana or a Dukkha Vedana or it can be a neutral feeling which is Adukkha Sukha Vedana. That is, there is there is no feeling at all, but there is actually a feeling. So the, the feeling can appear in, in all the three kinds. That is, it can be a Sukha Vedana that is a pleasurable feeling, a Dukkha Vedana which is a painful feeling, a asukha adukha vedana which is a neutral feeling so at any point in time depending upon the perception of the rupa uh, we can we can have any one of these three kind of feeling at any point in time because of the vedana and the sanya that is the perception and the feeling we have a vinyana that is the now this is the experiencer so based upon the rupa scene that the experiencer will say there is something and once the experiencer says there is something then the perception will say this is the one and based upon what is shown to it there is uh, this feeler says that ha this is what i am feeling 
and then all of these combinations will make a person to take an action once he takes this action it is called as abhisankara that is doing an action out of interest so once the person does it with interest he is now uh, added into his kamma bija or he has now created a seed of action so once the seed of action is created it will be a uh, it will be a period of time with which this kamma will now manifest into it into a small sapling and then grows into a tree because the environmental factors has been provided this environmental factors is nothing but the utu or the or the environment plus the kamma what has been done that is the seed what is there and then the chitta which becomes the ground for it to grow so the kamma will grow based upon the chitta and then the gati will provide the proper nutrition for it to manifest whether we are doing a good deed or we are doing a bad deed the both for both of them there is this uh, this whole process which is happening so one of the way to understand what is really uh, happening with with all of us whether something is good or something is bad is to understand how these things are have taken shape so let us say there is a child who is growing in the in in the in the mother's womb to the person who is getting married or the person who is getting divorced or the person has aged or the or the son or the daughter has has moved away or they are now getting married or something like that each one of these events actually has taken place in terms of these four factors that is the 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 body the physical body which is which is got through the uh, got through the food we eat then the then the chitta then the then we have the kamma and the utu plus these five uh, uh, five panchas khanda which is the rupas vedana sanya sankhara vinyana and what gets generated out of it will will create the the new kamma or the new uh, seeds which is which then starts manifesting so throughout life when we say throughout life it is every moment but let us say from the infancy to the to the childhood then to the teenage then to the youth then middle age then then old age then death so if we were to put this as a five phase of a, of a human life we find that this is the same thing which is getting manifested why because that we have interest for colors which is varna then we have interest for uh, taste which is rasa then we have uh, interest for gandha which is smell and we have interest for nutrients which is the utu or the oja sorry the oja is the nutrient so we are uh, having a a an attachment to these four so these are called as shuddhastaka or or pure octets octets which means there are eight so that is pathavi which is the earth element the then we have apo which is the water element tejo which is the fire element and then uh, vayo which is the air element along with along with rasa gandha uh, uh, varna rasa gandha and oja so these eight are there everywhere every whatever rupa we see or the rupa we hear a rupa uh, we smell or we taste we touch so all of these rupas have these eight octets so we are we have uh, the avijja which is ignorance about these four elements and we have attachment to the other four elements and that's we keep on creating this uh, attachment and ignorance towards these and because of that we get lives one life after the other we keep on moving into the sansara because that is what we would like to enjoy so ultimately we would like to enjoy the color the taste the touch the the smell the 
and then the uh, and then the hearing or the or the sound and then thinking so we are always in this six all the time so let us say i would like to go to a particular location for a holiday i what i am trying to do is to again enjoy all of these six if i if i were to uh, go for a let us say a holiday vacation so now if i want to go and work somewhere again i am interested in all of the six if i were to sit down somewhere and read a book again i am interested in all of the six so that means throughout life we are accustomed or we are only experiencing these six things in our life because we have interest towards them and then at the end of uh, the the cycle of uh, the body that is the karajakaya which keeps on getting destroyed a time will come this when this body becomes useless so when the when this when this body becomes useless to whatever condition it is then the new karma takes over and then the person dies so the and that is what we call as death so when there is a death of a condition what happens is that the the physical body then becomes a log of wood because the jivit indriya that is the life essence is removed so along with the life essence these the other body will now move into a a new life to enjoy the senses uh, the, the the five senses so a suitable now i am in search of a suitable contractor just like i want to build a home i am in search of a suitable contractor and whenever a suitable contractor is found then this contractor is nothing but mother and father so they become my mother and father and then i start sitting in a womb and then i start growing so they give me the food to mature into the body in in whichever fashion it should be growing for that growing there is this blueprint which i am carrying through my kamma chitta and utu so they provide the condition for the body to grow depending upon the kamma or the or the seed or the action what i have created a particular type of uh, body is generated and that might have some organs or that might not have some organs it depends on what i have done in the past to various people or various beings so while i am being born all of these blueprint is then put into action so so the person becomes really helpless of this condition so if you see that is the reason it is called as anatta because now i have no way to actually keep anything in control so if i if i were to look at the pairs then chakku anatta that is the i consciousness what is getting generated is anatta because i have no control of that then i have rupa anatta that is the whatever i am seeing as a rupa i cannot really change anything of whatever i am seeing so i might be seeing a bad thing i might be seeing a good thing but i really cannot do anything about it so that is the reason chakku anatta then you have rupa anatta then you have sota anatta that is the ear consciousness is anatta shabda anatta i cannot really decide what sound should be coming from outside any sound will be coming it might be liking to my ear or it might not be liking to my ear but i have to undergo the pain or the pleasure what is being generated so if i am able to hear for a long time then the pleasurable becomes painful so we have a very limited uh, uh, time or sorry the limited uh, patience to enjoy the pleasure if we do something in a too much then the pleasure becomes pain try eating uh, as much as you can even after the stomach is full you will hate eating because the same pleasurable item has become a painful item so then you have gandha uh, the ghana anatta gandha anatta that is ghana is nothing but the nose consciousness the nose is uh, is not as per my like or my, is, is not in my control nor the smell i cannot choose which smell i can i want to smell 
even though i have a liking for smelling a very good fragrance but i really cannot promise that every time i can be able to get that and i am helpless in case if a bad smell is coming so then then uh, kaya anatta puttabba anatta that means kaya is the body and the puttabba is a touch so i really cannot i don't have any control to say that what what can come what touch can come so i might be touching a an electrical circuit that might give me a shock i might touch a let us say uh, uh, a particular kind of fly or a particular kind of insect which will bite me so it might bring me heat in the body and it might get me boils for which i have no control and when i'm sleeping mosquito might bite or so many things might bite even though i have covered from head to toe but still because it's hot outside i am not able to completely cover myself so then so many things can bite so i am i am actually anatta that is helplessness or i don't have control to say that uh, what should not bite in fact i don't want anything to bite me but i really cannot uh, you know promise similarly i have um, i have this uh, jivva anatta rasa anatta that is i have a tongue jivva is the tongue and rasa is the is a taste and i really cannot say what will taste good and what will taste bad because even though the even though it is very nice food which is been given to me let us say i had fever and the fever has cut all my all my taste bud so if i were to eat it doesn't look it doesn't taste nicely so this can actually happen so based upon that whatever i am eating or whatever i am feeling as a taste i am helpless then thinking so then you have uh, the mano anatta dhamma anatta that is what is coming in the mind i cannot stop as thoughts and that means i have all of these 12 six pairs as anatta not only that i have 31 parts of the body and each one of the part of the body if i were to analyze so let us look at the external part so we have five uh, senses and to take care of this five senses we have this huge body but we have no control over our kidneys we have no control over liver we have no control over the heart we have no control over limbs we have no control over the hand we have no control over the backbone we have no control over the bones we have no control over the joints we have no control over the tendons we have no control over the blood we don't have any control over the spleen we don't have any control over liver we have no control over our, our brain we have no control about our about our uh, mucus we don't have any control to say that uh, the pus will not come there is pus then uh, there we don't have any control over vomit we don't have control over the or the feces we don't have any control over urine we don't have control over the thirst we don't have any control over the hunger we don't have control over the burning sensation we don't have any control over the cold sensation we don't have any control over what can happen let us say somebody sneezes and i might also start sneezing so i have no control over what virus can enter into my system i don't have any control over the airborne diseases i don't have any control over the waterborne diseases i don't have any control over the fireborne diseases i don't have control over the heatborne diseases i don't have any control over the uh, the cold bone disease so that means if you if you really see all that we say that i exist i am in control these many things we don't have any control over but yet we are so much interested in safeguarding oneself because this five skandhas pancha skandha is upadana that is we attach Uh, or or we hold on to those impression and say that this is what is i am so if we were to use this any one of these as a meditation object 
then we will be able to see ourselves what the truth is. The truth is that these five khandas are independent and that is what is creating as I. So there is a feeler I, there is a perceiver I, there is an experiencer as an I and then there is a doer as an I based upon what we are seeing, touching, tasting, smelling, uh, thinking, hearing and that is the rupa what we are creating. So we have rupa which is the form plus the vedana, sanya, sankhara as another three which is the mind plus the vinyana which is the consciousness. So this is how we generally is called as I as so and so person. So if we are able to understand uh, and comprehend and also meditate on this, we will be able to split the body and the mind and see exactly what we are. And our interest on this uh, so-called I will go away and with that we can start, uh, start our foot on becoming cool from inside and the fires of uh, aversion, the fire of greed, the fire of delusion will start going away and all the six senses which are on fire gets drowsed and that state when we reach it is called as Nibbana. So that is uh, what I wanted to explain to you and also say how I have experienced it or what I am doing to experience and moving into the path of uh, from uh, let us say Sotapanna to Anagami to Sakadagami to Arhat. So when we come into Sotapanna, we understand what these concepts are. When we come into the Anagami, we start experiencing, sorry, the Sakadagami, we start experiencing it and uh, uh, reducing our uh, uh, attachment to the hatredness, that is Patigha, and also to Kamaraga. The Kamaraga is the sensual pleasures. And when we come to the Anagami state, we, uh, we have got rid of both Kama Raga and Patigga. And when we come into the Arhat, then the Rupa Raga, Arupa Raga and uh, Udacha and all of that will go away. So I, I hope I have explained to the best of how somebody can uh, experience the truth within himself or herself. And... Uh, if you have any questions, I can I can answer them. Teron Sarnai Vilas. Teron Sarnai. Lasanta. Yeah. Yeah, much more merit. So explaining these uh, four kayas and explaining uh, by uh, your own experience. So Vilas, I have a, 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 some uh, a particular problem regarding the gati that uh, they use the word uh, habit for that. Mm -hmm. So Vilas, uh, because of the gati, uh, all the time we uh, actually when we take five students or five people or five other people, so when we see uh, all these five people see a particular uh, rupa, then actually they are, uh, the upadaya rupa in their inside, it is different because of the gati. Mm. And I want to know that uh, uh, does the arihat tero, the arihat uh, tero, uh, does, he, does he has that, uh, does he have that such gati? I mean, you mean the habit? So I have heard that even the Arihatero also have that uh, Vipaka uh, Priyamadura uh, priya nature. Uh, so that is there. So is it because of the Gati or I want to know that the Gati nature is totally zero or, or the Tero. Please uh, explain it. No, the Priyamadura, Priyamadura is nothing but the Gati. So they also have the Gati but the Vipaka, the Kama Vipaka is so low that it doesn't manifest. Uh, see, uh, let us say in in our case when we see a pleasurable object. Yes. The when we see the priya madura, okay, we get attracted. Hmm. When a arhat sees the priya madura, he doesn't get attracted. Mm -hmm. So he is able to immediately see that it is made out of different elements, the four elements. 
So he doesn't get attracted. Yeah, well, as uh, sometimes uh, when the when the arihat there of begging's begging arms. Uh-huh. So sometimes when people when somebody come and offer some some particular food, sometimes he admit it, but sometimes he put it palm and uh, close the arms ball and he 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 he, he sometimes he rejected, so he refuse it. Does it because of the gati or the, what is the reason for that? It can be due to gati, but he will not create any kamma because of that. Mm-hmm. See now. First of all, we need to come out of the strong gati, strong habits. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean that no habit will remain. Mm-hmm. So the dasa akusala will not remain mm-hmm. because he has replaced that dasa akusala with the kusala karma. Yes. Okay. So what happens is that even though there is uh, not liking, instead of saying I don't like, he will just close his lid. Okay, so that doesn't mean that he hated it. He he looked at it. He felt that he should not have it. Hmm. So mm. in that way, it can be called as apriya madura. Yeah. Okay. So an arhat doesn't have a a volition to mm. either to like or to dislike. Does not operate, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't have a gati. So his chitta doesn't have no yes. So even though the gati exists or the deeds, sorry, or the what again, the habit exists, mm-hmm. but the habit strength. Every habit has a strength. Yeah. That habit strength is so low that it cannot manifest as a chitta. I see. Okay. See, let me give you another example. So the same example, what I was talking about, my friend having a drink. Hmm. Let us say I love drinking. Yes. But it is so low. The energy is so low that it could not manifest in as a thought. Ah yes, yes, yes. So I did not ask my friend to give me one glass of that uh, drink, whatever he was having. Hmm. So if my habit is very strong, yeah, then I will then it will manifest in the thought, in the chitta. Mm-hmm. So once it manifests in the chitta, then I have a, a, the mano, then I have a vachi, and then I have kaya. Yes. So now it has come in the mind, in the chitta. So immediately I'll start. I'll start talking within myself that uh, how come he is having the drink and is not offering me. Yeah. And then I will. I will then poking, pokingly ask him. Hey, you call yourself as a friend and you're drinking all alone and you, you didn't even uh, ask me whether you want to drink. Hmm. So then he will say, Vilas, last time when we met, you said that you are not going to drink. Hmm. Now I say when I'm in Bangalore, I'll not drink. But when I'm outside Bangalore, I didn't say that I'm not going to drink. Hmm. So then he pours a drink, and now I keep on drinking two or three or four uh, drinks, and then I get high. Yeah. Why that happened? Because the the habit was very strong. Yes. Yes. Since the habit is not strong, it has it has lost its strength. Yeah, it did not manifest in the chitta. Yes, because it did not manifest in the chitta, they, it did not manifest in the kaya. Yeah, correct. So I did not ask my friend to give me a drink. Yes, yes. So yes. even though he drank, I did not like, I did not dislike. Hmm. So which is the case of an arhat for for everything? Hmm. Okay. Yes, Vilas, uh, it's clear. Okay.
if you don't have any further question then i would like to end the end the session do you have any questions जल Uh, Vilas, uh, there's uh, uh, then uh, actually uh, now you have explained about the uh, Patavi, Apo, Tejo, and Vayo. It's uh, the four elements. Uh, Vilas, uh, if we see that actually in in the physically uh, we can see the Patavi, Apo, Tejo, and Vayo, but actually it it comes to as our Utuja Rupa, or I mean the is it's actually it is uh, comes uh, it it comes as a chitta nature yeah, so right. how can we experience how can we experience this uh, i mean uh, in, in in the environment in the physically we can see all the four uh, elements but mm -hmm. how can we experience that uh, as a chitta nature see actually a uh, very good question so i thank uh, nuwan and you for asking me this question so let us say when you are in fear yeah so let us say there is a tiger yeah okay now you are seeing yes. the tiger okay mm -hmm. so what is happening inside you inside the chitta there is the utu which is changed now mm -hmm. so when there is a fear your body becomes stiff yes okay where did that stiffness yeah. come that stiffness came because of the vayo mm -hmm. and vayo yes. dhatu vayo dhatu got generated because of the utu aha uh -huh. yes okay if there is an arhat if he is seeing the tiger he knows that there is no tiger mm -hmm. correct he he knows it is only patavi apo tejo vayo and the being which is nothing but the karajakaya chitta jakaya utu jakaya kama jakaya yeah. yeah so so he will not generate an energy which will be fearful yes and because of that he is able to talk to the tiger yeah so the tiger will not do anything to arhat Mm. Yes. Okay, because he did not generate that karma. Uh huh. So what actually happened is that when I saw a tiger, since I am not an arhat, I mm. reacted it as a being which is going to kill me. Yes. Yes. Because yes. I have a self view. Yeah. Okay. So what did I generate? I generated uh, enough rupa kalapas which can. which can uh, then cause disturbance mm -hmm. so the rupa kalapas what i generated is now of major major nature is the vayo mm -hmm. that that happened because of the environmental factor that is when i was going home i suddenly saw a tiger which i never expected it to be yeah so i don't know how to react to the tiger yes so i shouted yeah and when there is a shabda 
again that is utu it is generated through utu mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so when there is a shabda then what happens when the sound comes the tiger can see me now because it 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 also can hear yeah. so it can do whatever it want to do with me because now i have generated enough kamma we uh, kamma bija to to encounter a tiger yes okay <clears throat> now why i am giving this example is because it can be easily seen first there is uh, this karajakaya then there is utujakaya then there is uh, kammajakaya chittajakaya so hmm. in this four kaya uh, the since the how did the physical body fear the physical body feared because of change in the environment yes yes and change in the environment created the chitta yeah and chitta created the kamma Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. You can actually see yeah. that action. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, Vilas. Uh, thanks and uh, much more merits for explaining. Thank you, Vilas. any other question स्वभावे <laughs> 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 आकर्षण <laughs> निर्माण <laughs> 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 अजत्का Vilas, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we uh, we do experience all the time with because of the some uh, vipaka vipaka uh, vijnana. So all the time we have a when we see rupa vedana sanya uh, when we see a rupa then vedana sanya sankara and vijnana all together. Finally, the vijnana is the consciousness is there. Then we see uh, the person, the particular person is there, and we uh, at that time we experience something. This uh, what do you call the the four elements. Uh, is a patavi apo tejo and vayo. So uh, how do we uh, actually? How do we experience this? I mean, uh, why do we? Uh, be because of the the sensual pleasures. Because of the sensual pleasures, we we attract something. Uh, how do we see this through? Uh, actually, uh, 
uh, how can we experience this uh, the ajjatakaya and bahidakaya how this uh, how this happen i mean uh, uh, how, how can we is there a particular way to experience this 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 the vipaka vipaka pleasures how can we see that they are now the person is there then he is going to do something then he he is he saw something or something like that can we experience through this yes we can experience through let us say the ajjata kaya is uh, is what we are generating through our mind hmm. the bahidda is what is happening outside that is the action what we are trying to take yeah so i'll give you some example so it becomes easy so now let us say there is a there is a politician mm-hmm. okay and two people are standing in front of the politician yeah and there is a liking of that politician by a and there is a hatredness of the same politician by b mm. okay a politician a a person would like to garland the politician mm. for having done something in his village or in his town or wherever mm. yeah and uh, b wants to kill him yes so by putting a garland he wants to kill him let us say yeah both have a both have created ajjatta bahidda ajjatta bahidda is there the kaya or the or the rupa whatever is getting generated inside their mind mm. is dependent upon the experience what they had with that object yeah the object in question is the politician yeah politician as such that object as such is neither good nor bad yeah but the experience what the person had is making him or her to feel good or bad yeah okay so we can we can we can really see what happens so when the when the when the when the person sees this politician that is the yeah. a sees the politician in his mind okay mm-hmm. first the rupas what are generated will say that he is known to me and he is somebody who has done lot of service to my to my town yeah 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 okay so he created the yeah. rupa so that is ajjat inside yeah correct so he is the he is creating that in his mind outside it is he is my most favorite politician yeah that most favorite is the one what he created yes okay the outside object remains the same correct correct But yeah in his mind he created liking yes similarly in the in the case of b hmm. he created a hatredness yeah after seeing how did he see because there is an object which is coming there is a light and uh, yeah. and and it and it reflected and he saw the person whom he hated because in his mind there was already hatredness which was there correct correct so the rupa now manifested ajjatta bahidda yeah so you can really see the same object is seen by two different people correct and they experience different different kaya at that point in time mhm yeah okay so let us say the p- person a goes with gratitude to the politician yeah so his kaya is now positive towards that politician yeah and whereas the p- p- b incites anger within him yeah okay so they both are going and meeting the politician one is trying to kill one is trying to mm. die correct correct so in this way you can see yeah actually at that time uh, vilas the, the total uh, the most dominant factor is the uh, the both two people the was the, the the a is very uh, interested with the politician but the b is hatred so but the politician in in he, the politician himself doesn't have any hatred or the uh, liking but yes. the other uh, two 
two people they have that uh, two different feelings yes. it, because uh, he, i think uh, the dominant factor is they are the gati uh, right, the that gati, the, uh, no no that is see everything happens due to gati only the habit yeah yeah see the the ajatta bahid the attraction and repulsion because of the object happens due, due to the habit correct correct if the habit was neutral mm mm-hmm. he wouldn't have felt anything at all yeah yeah, yeah. okay now now uh, let us say in our country there is a debate in sri lanka also there will be debate on politicians there are each country has their own debate on politician yes whomever we like we don't want to hear bad things yes because we have created rupa in that way yeah okay so inside us we have created the rupa and outside we are seeing the same thing we would like to see the yes. same thing mm-hmm. yes, we, yes so when we don't see the same thing we would like to change the person view yeah so let us say there is a friend who is sitting next to me and then he says something about a person whom i like mm-hmm. then i would like to give justification why he should not hate ah uh, yes even after giving the justification he might still hate him yeah now because of that i start hating my friend mm mm-hmm. so i will say because you are hating the friend whom i really respect i have a sincere gratitude mm. to that person you are hating so you are not worth to be a friend yeah so again ajatta and bahidda so i created a kaya based upon what i like and what i dislike yes yes but outside it is not really like that at all yeah but in my mind i have created correct correct yes tarun sir na me nuan mahatya me buduma adahas karapu prashna da danna mata me vilas mahatya re dirpat karune e adahas tibba denu nuan mahatya राग राग देश आरोपने के स्वभाव अडूट अरे विपाक वेदना विरसाइन मंगार हाबू प्रश्न गति स्वभाव संपूर्ण गति स्वभाव तीन उन्हांस कुमरकाविंग गति सभा अरे सर पवर से विधि टेम कथा करना अरे मैं अरे वासले यार मैं किले में कथा करना निवात्रिंग तो बिलिंदा इधर करते हैं यार मैं नुमान महाते इतना पुरुध विधि रहता है मैं ये ठीक 
එන්නේ නේද මේ මහන්සේගේ දැන් එතන අර අර වයිකෙන් දේශයකින් කොහොමත් එහෙම කියවෙන්නේ නැහැ නේ ඒ මොහොතට අර මේ නොන් මහතේ ලසන්ත මහතේ ගතිපුරු සුරුපුරු කියලා වෙන් කරගත්තා මේක හරි 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 ඒක පැහැදිලි වෙන ගොඩක් ඉතින් ඒක තේරිලා තිබෙන නැහැ මට මේ ඒක අර විලාස් මහත්තයාගේ තුලත් මම හිතන්නේ විලාස් මහත්තයාටත් ඒක ටිකක් තව ටිකක් වෙලාවක කතා කරලා බලන්න ඕනේද එක ගැන අදහසක් ඩිෆරන්ස් එකක් එයා එයාත් ඔක දන්නවා ඇති යාට අර දැන් අපිට ඔක ගති කියලාමනේ අපි ගන්නේ ඔව් අවබෝධ එක තමයි ඒක අවබෝධ ඇති මේ අර වචනවලට බෙරලනකොට අඩු පාඩුවක් ඇද ඒක තමයි එයා හැබිට් කියලා නේ දාන්නේ ඔතෙන්ද දැන් හැබිට් කියන එක මද ඔතන ගති කියන්නේ කියන පොඩි ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙනවා ඇති කමක් නැහැ අපි මේ දැන් අපි වෙලාවක නුවන් මහතේ මමත් කතා කරන වෙලාවක මම චුට්ටක කතා කරලා බලන්න ආය හරි හරි එහෙනම් අනේක වර රැපින් මේ හරි ඕකේ තැන්ක් යු විලාස් විලාස් තරුණ සර් නයි යස් ලසන්ත ආ විලාස් දැට් මයි සෙල්ෆ් ඇන්ඩ් මිස්ටර් නුවන් දැට් වි හැඩ් අ සම් ඩිස්කෂන් රිගාඩින් දැට් Uh, that what you have explained and uh, actually in, in singhalese we we discuss something about the uh, gati and uh, that uh, g- g- you know you use that word habit is there and mm-hmm. we as uh, in singhalese we say that the, the arihattero uh, he doesn't have gati that gati is uh, totally eradicated but some 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 practice is there that is why he uh, that is why he uh, somewhat uh, interested in some particular arms and sometimes he had some practicing but mr nuan explained me that when he become more than 60 years of age all the practice also going away then uh, then the gati and the practice both eradicated uh, when the arihatero become uh, at the age of 60s so it is there can happen see the, even the gati exists let us say it is the energy generated by gati is so less that it cannot even manifest mm-hmm. in the chitta so which means yeah. it is as good as gone mm-hmm. yes see, now, let us say again taking the same uh, drinking example if i am not interested in drinking nor i am eating drinking mm-hmm. it means that habit is gone yeah 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 okay i can consider the habit is gone but actually the habit might remain but it is so little as an energy that's a, everything is energy dependent right mm-hmm. see before it comes into chitta that is pure energy yeah yeah the gati will contaminate the chitta yes yes because yes. i am having now manasan hadayan and all that mano mana mana indriyan mana yatanan and then i am getting into vinyana yeah yeah so before that mana manasan stage okay yeah the yeah. arhat ends the liking or dislike yeah. mm-hmm. yes so actually there is no gati as such yes for an yes. arhat yeah vilas yeah okay because he is not going beyond manasan Mm-hmm. you understand because there is no energy after that yes so in the similar case if i don't have any interest towards drinking mm-hmm. or i am not finding anything as a hatredness or liking towards drinking yeah it means to say that the chitta it is coming till the manasan state yes of the rupa whatever i am seeing i am seeing a glass of whiskey Mm-hmm. but it is just coming till the will the manasan state if it goes to hadayan yeah then i create liking yes then it goes to uh, up to the vinyana up to the vinyana so now it went till the manasan state yeah so there is no chitta correct correct so when there is no chitta i don't have to ask anyone to give me a drink correct correct then no kama yeah. yes So it is only a, a kama vipaka. Correct, correct, correct. Because of my past habit, I came into a situation where somebody is drinking in front of me. Mm-hmm. So why did I enter there? Because of the past habit. Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, but that habit by itself did not do anything to me. Yeah. That is how it works. Yes, Vilas. Yes, actually, thanks once again and much merits for explaining. तो हरी तो हरी लड़ी तो पसंद बात है। ओ एक तो आने देखो फैहदी लियो ना आने मत। मानसन निकमान ने तीता मनो मानसन निकमान ने कोमा तड़िया तो ना। हादेंग विन्ने नहीं कोमा डर नहीं रहता। नहीं हाद विन्ने नहीं मानसन मानसन करला हाँ तो ना करना। अन्ना हरी दित्त सुतो मुत्त विन्या विन्या तो क्या नहीं <laughs> yes, uh, Vilas, once again, thanks, and both myself and Mr. Nuan, that uh, we are really happy that uh, finally your uh, explanation is really uh, we understood, both of us. And thanks, and much more merits once again. Thank you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So shall I now conclude the session? Yes, I think uh, it's better to uh, con con uh, let's go to the conclusion and uh, transferring merits for all the beans. Yes. So uh, yeah, we've been almost having a, a two hours uh, discussion on on this. So may all beings uh, uh, enjoy and also. Uh, earn merits because of uh, attending to the desana so let all people who have attended here and uh, and 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 all beings be able to enjoy the the supreme bliss of nibbana uh, uh, in case uh, i have uh, uh, insulted any arhat or any any person in the past uh, or have done any 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 bad uh, kamma or uh, or an uh, a, a, a papa which can uh, which can uh, stop my growth. Let that not happen. Let uh, let there be uh, peace and tranquility to all beings. And uh, uh, and I'm also sincerely sp spreading the gratitude and uh, loving kindness to to all the beings uh, who are here, either in the body or not in body. And who are who have taken the benefit of this uh, of this experience? What I had, let them also experience the same, and let them also see the truth. May all beings be happy. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.